Hey Finksters, now today we will be learning how to limit float values to two decimal points in Python. So here's an example for you. Now can you identify this huge value? Yes, this is the value of pi and we will now limit it to two decimal places and derive the output as 3.14. So this is the example that we will be using. We will use several other examples as well. but. I hope this example gives you an idea about the question that we are going to discuss today. So without further delay, let us dive into the solutions to this. The first solution to our problem today is to use the round method. Now here's a quick recap to the round method. Round is a built-in function in Python which returns a floating number that is rounded version of a specified number. The function accepts two arguments where the first argument is the number to be rounded and the second one is the number of decimal places that you want that is the precision when you set the precision to zero or when you do not specify the precision then python returns the integer value now there's an entire lecture on the round method so do not worry i'll provide the link to that explanation in the description below this is only a small recap and I just want to show you that you can use the round method to fulfill the purpose of this question. So let's say that this is the given value to us and now we want to extract or we want to limit this number only to two decimal points. So all you have to do in this case is to use the round method and within it you have to pass the first parameter which is the number itself in this case the number is stored within our variable x so we pass the first parameter as x and the second parameter is going to be the precision so we want to round this number to two decimal places so this parameter will be two and that's it now let's see if this works and as you can see that yes we indeed have rounded off our actual number to a number having two decimal places. Now let's say that you do not provide the precision value. Then what happens in that case? Let's see. And there we go. As you can see, this time Python returned an integer value. That is a number rounded to its integer value. Now here's a question for you. What do you think would be the output if this value wouldn't have been 3.14 3, rather it would have been 3.743667. In this case, when you do not provide the precision, what do you think would be the output? Let's see. And as you can see that now the number has been rounded off to 4. So this basically means that whenever you use the round method without using the precision argument, in that case, Python will simply go ahead and round this number in a way that whenever this value that is the first value after the decimal point is greater than 5 or equal to 5 in that case it will round off this number to the next largest integer which in this case is 4 and if this value is anything that is the first decimal value is anything less than 5 in that case it will round off this number to the lowest integer value which is 3 itself in this case. Well, that is not the purpose of our discussion here. We want to simply go ahead and limit our decimal number to two decimal points. So let's say, let's take another number. Let's say that we have a number which is something like this. Now let's round it off to two decimal places and let's say that this is not 3. Let's say this is 8. Now let's see what happens if we round off x to two decimal points by passing 2 as the value to our precision parameter. And as you can see that now the output is 1324.82. Since the value at the third decimal point is greater than 5, hence this was rounded off to 82. If it would have been lesser than 5, let's say it would have been 4. Let's see what would have been the output in that case. And as you can see, now the output is 1324.81. So now I hope working principle of the round function is clear. If not, please follow the link given in the description to dive deep into this method.
With this, we move on to the next method that will help us to round our given number to two decimal points. Rather, I should say, which will round off our given number to two decimal places. And this method is something that you must have used quite a lot of times if you have been programming in Python. It is known as format. So format is a built-in function in Python that is used to return a formatted string. So you have to use this format method in a way that you can limit the given decimal value to two decimal places. So let's see how to do that. So let's say once again, we have our number x, which has this value stored within it. And now let's print x with the help of the format method. So within format, we simply have to pass x. Now, when we go ahead and print this, all we have is the number x itself. In order to limit this to two decimal places, you have to use a placeholder and pass 2f within it. So this is exactly what you have to do. You have to use this placeholder and within it, you have to pass dot 2f. This will tell Python that now you have to print this floating value such that you will consider only two decimal places. So this is how you can use dot 2f within the placeholder along with the format method to round off the given number to two decimal places. Let's see if this works. And this is exactly what we wanted. So this is how you can use the format method to limit a given decimal number to two decimal places. Now, what if you wanted to limit this to three decimal places? Instead of dot 2f, you would have used dot 3f. Now, let's execute this. And as you can see, we have now limited our given floating value to three decimal places. So this is how you can play around with the format function and limit the given floating point number. With that, we come to the end of the second way of solving our problem. That brings us to the third way of solving our problem. And the third way is quite similar to the second way that we learned. However, in this case, we will not be using the format method Rather, we will use the modulo operator. Now, modulo has numerous use cases in Python. In this case, modulo will help Python to understand the type of the string format. That is, when Python finds a value which is something like this, modulo will help Python to understand that this is a floating value. And along with dot 2f, it will tell Python that you have to limit this floating point value to two decimal places. So let's see how that happens. Hence, let's print x. And now we will use our modulo operator in this way such that we will pass modulo dot 2f and then modulo x. So this will tell Python that you have to read the value of x and round it off to two decimal places. So let's execute this. And there we go. This is exactly the output that we needed. You can also round it off to two or three or any number of decimal places as you want. So let's say we want to round it off to four decimal places. So you have to use modulo dot four F. Now let's print this. And as you can see, modulo has rounded off this given floating point value to four decimal places. So this is how you can use the modulo operator along with dot two F to solve your problem. This is nothing but an implementation of a format string specifier. Since we have already used couple of string formatting methods, that is first we use the format method, then we used the modulo operator. Let's also use f strings and let's limit the given decimal number to two decimal places. So once again, let's say that this is the floating point value given to us. And now we will simply use the print statement and print the f string such that we will instruct Python that hey Python print the value of x such that you limit this value to two decimal places. So let's see if this works. And there we go. We have successfully used our f string along with dot 2f to limit the given value to two decimal places. Well, with that, we come to the end of this discussion. We discussed four methods using which we can limit a given floating point number to two decimal places.
your first choice should always be method one that is you should use the round method but it's always good to know different ways of doing this that's why i explained you how you can use different string formatting methods to limit the given floating point number to two decimal places so these methods were the format method then we used the modular operator and finally we used an f string to solve our question i hope this lecture was useful if you have any doubts please mention them in the comments below and i'll try my best to answer all your queries thank you